Chapter 473, Li Shirjian. And Madame Foam, what are you doing here? The handsome middle-aged man exclaimed when he saw Feng Yuxiang's beautiful figure standing not far away from the temple. Humph! I have been looking everywhere for you, Li Shirjin. How dare you make me do so much work? Feng Yuxiang sneered coldly. And Master Li! The bald monks were shocked when Li Shirjin actually came outside after hearing Feng Yuxiang's voice. Is she really that important to him? Just who is this fierce woman with a domineering aura that resembles powerful magical beasts? Li Shirjin looked at the monks and said, Don't worry, I have stabilized the head monk's condition. He only needs to rest now. Thank you, Savior! The monks there immediately lowered their heads and bowed to him with gratitude. Let my friend over there through, Li Shirjin then said. Right away! The monks no longer blocked her path and allowed her entrance. Should have done this in the beginning, she said as she walked past them. Once she entered the temple, Li Shirjin brought her to the guest room and served her tea. This is the first time you've personally looked for me. Did something happen? Do you need someone to be healed as soon as possible? Li Shirjin asked her after they sat down. Not really. I want to introduce you to someone. He needs your help, she said. Who? Did you finally find a husband after so many years? Li Shirjin joked. Feng Yuxiang narrowed her eyes and stared at him with a dangerous look. I guess you didn't learn from the last time, or maybe you forgot about it. How about I stick a rod up your A.S.S to help you remember? This temple should have plenty of them, she then said in a cold voice. Li Shirjin immediately began sweating, and he said with a stiff smile on his face, Please have mercy. I still have nightmares about that incident. Humph. Although this person isn't my husband, he's a very precious person to me. She answered him regardless after a moment of silence. Precious? Now my curiosity has peaked. Tell me more, Li Shirjin said. He's my young master, she said. PFT. Li Shirjin suddenly turned his head away from Feng Yuxiang before spitting out the tea in his mouth. After coughing for a moment, he looked at her with disbelief in his eyes. Why, young master? Yes, I have accepted him as my master, she said. Li Shirjin's jaw dropped, and he said, Heavens! A divine beast, a phoenix, no less, has accepted a master in the lower heavens? This is unprecedented. Li Shirjin was one of the very few people in the lower heavens that knew of Feng Yuxiang's real identity. What's so special about this young master of yours? Li Shirjin then asked. You will know once you meet him. When can you leave this place? It's already been a week since I left his side. I don't want to make him wait any longer. Hmm. That is a tricky question. As much as I'd like to leave now, I still have a patient here, and you know that I cannot leave until I am certain that he's fine. What? I thought you said that you'd already stabilized his condition. Feng Yuxiang frowned. His condition has only stabilized. There are still many things that have to be done before he's cured. Unless you happen to have a seven-colored herb, then I can heal him and leave with you by today. Seven-colored herb? I think my young master might have one, she said, recalling how he asked for its price before. Really? Li Shirjin was immediately filled with excitement. Then he frowned. Or are you saying that just to trick me into following you? Even if my young master has a seven-colored herb, he has no reason to give it to you. She said. Three days. If you are not done by then, I will make you leave by force. Feng Yuxiang said. Li Shirjin smiled and said. Three days should be more than enough. Have you forgotten who I am? I don't hold the title Divine Doctor without a reason. Whatever. I'm going to go look around the place until you're done. Just don't cause any troubles for the monks, Li Shirjin said. Feng Yuxiang didn't say anything back and left the guest room. Madam Feng, she has gotten softer. Is this the effect of this mysterious young master of hers? Li Shirjin mumbled to himself after Feng Yuxiang left. Three days passed by in a flash, and Feng Yuxiang went to look for Li Shirjin to force him to leave with her if he wasn't done. I don't dare to make you look for me for a second time. 
Li Shurjin's voice suddenly resounded behind her. Are you done? She asked him. He nodded and said, Yes. The head monk will make full recovery by next week. And then he asked, Where are we going now? The eastern continent. Thus Feng Yuxiang and Li Shurjin left the temple shortly after, heading towards the nearest city with a teleport device, and they proceeded to teleport from city to city until they reached the eastern continent a few days later. After reaching the eastern continent, Feng Yuxiang said, If you can help my young master, I will forget about the debt you owe me. Really? Li Shurjin looked at her with pure bliss on his face. Only if you help him. If you turn out to be useless, I will make you pay that debt immediately. Li Shurjin swallowed nervously after hearing that. As long as it is related to medicine, Li Shurjin said. After traveling for another day, Feng Yuxiang and Li Shurjin arrived at Seashell City. Seashell City, huh? It's been over a hundred years since I last visited this city. The last time I did, it was to cure the city lord. Li Shurjin reminisced his history with this place. Follow me. I can sense the young master aura from here. Feng Yuxiang said as she began approaching the city.